COVID-19 has flipped all of our worlds upside down, but for Cal's international students, their college experience has gone from day to night. I'm Ritika Kapam for Cal TV News, and here are some of their stories. This month marks the one-year anniversary of UC Berkeley's transition to online learning. However, international students continue to make difficult sacrifices every day to adapt. I found that, you know, with all the club meetings happening in the evenings and like some of the sections happening at like what, 4 a.m. in the morning for me, I thought it would be a better idea if I just, you know, switch over and turn nocturnal. While Jay Aditya was able to adapt to this lifestyle, Min, a Vietnam-based freshman, cannot say the same. Yeah, I'm taking this semester off because I felt like it's actually really hard to live a nocturnal life. I thought it would be easy. Turns out with the amount of work they were expecting on you, that workload on top of your personal expectation of yourself. It's a lot to compete with the people, so I thought it wasn't really a healthy choice. In addition to time zone issues, international students have been struggling with the constantly changing immigration policy this past year. People went home and Berkeley announced that their classes will be remotely, and then Donald Trump announced that um, only students who have, I think, hybrid classes or in-person classes can still like maintain their visa status. Erin Skelly, international student advisor, states that the university has made strides to support and accommodate students of all backgrounds. We've been working with our professional organization to advocate for our student population and the things that need to change. And we've seen some positive changes. The university has a government affairs unit that works in D.C., and works with our office as well to advocate, um, you know, kind of on a higher level with the U.S. government. However, Antonia, junior student based in Chile, feels differently. Honestly, I kind of regretted going to the U.S. because of the way they treat foreign students. Berkeley has never been accommodating with anybody. They're not. There's specific professors who are accommodating and care and take the time to reach out. And that's super valuable. And they do it with all their students. And yeah, and there's specific professors who don't and they don't care and the school doesn't push them to either. So I don't know, I guess it just depends on who your teacher is. As a domestic student, I didn't feel it right to end this story myself. Here is a message to the university, courtesy of some of the students featured in this story. The professors or like the TAs or GSIs are going to listen to this. I hope that they know that there are international students in their classes too. International students are very valuable. They bring in different mindsets, different perspectives, and they need to be appreciated because it is a big sacrifice to leave your country and go somewhere else. And I really hope that, you know, Berkeley can take up some of that feedback and act on it soon if we're still, you know, doing online. <laughs> For Cal TV News, this has been Ratika Kupam.